right, there we go. Break time! Imagine you could travel back in time, to a time long before time, back across 66 years. As you travel you would see a huge man, even the surface of the earth itself would move. Now you've reached a remarkable period in earth's history, known as the Cretaceous. It is a very different world. This is a world, ruled by dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Five ton reptiles like Tyrannosaurus, a predator, stalk the giant landscape. In Dying with Dinosaurs, we will show you how these magnificent creatures died. And you will witness how the fourth orth of nature conspire to drive these animals to extinction. This series will also take you back much further. Back to the Jurassic period, a time when life on Earth was at its most spectacular. The creatures here bathe in ice. There are no warm tropical climates in the air and on the land. The world is dominated by flower. However, first this series will go back even further. This is our own Earth during the Triassic period. Here there are no separate continents, just one giant landmass called Pangaea. These are the first dinosaurs, and this is where our story begins. Dinosaurs like this Cicelophysis can survive on very little water. She is also light-boned, fast, and she is beautifully adapted for killing her own young. A growing chorus of calls signals the arrival of a huge herd of Placerias. Placeria. But they are making their way down for their morning drink. Root beer. Once there were many different varieties of these powerful creatures swaggering across the landscape. Yes, I got my swagger back. But now the Placeria but are the only ones of their kind that remain. Further downriver is one of the Triassic's most bizarre animals, the cynid. Cynid. The bond between cynid cynids is extraordinarily strong. They pair for life. Like anyone can even know that. Postosuguscus, a merciless ambush predator, the largest carnivore on Earth. The Placeria but is now too weak to fight, and the Postosuguscus has an easy meal. The cynid cynids lie cool. No animal here is true. The female Celis Lephysis has picked up the scent of their butts. Soon as the female Celis Lephysis has found something in the parched riverbed. It is a quack lung. Postosuscus, a merciless amp. Postosuscus, the largest the largest carnivore on Sheesh. they eat their own young. This strategy of eating their own young will pay off for their mammalian descendants. The female Celislophysis has found something in the parched riverbed. It is a gentle giant. The 
Poster Suguscus once again needs food. Her thick thighs are severely hot. I had hoped that it wouldn't be necessary for me to tell you how to behave. The Placeria but heard spots her before she can set an ambush, and they mount an aggressive defense. She will get no food here. Evening. And in the burrow, the Synod Synod prepare for a night of reproducing. I have to tell you how to behave, don't I? The Synod Synod prepare for a night of eating their own young. <laughs> the female Cilislophysis has found something in the parched riverbed. It is a fish. Nearby, a thirsty male Postosuchus has invaded the wounded female's territory. I see you're drinking 1%. Is that because you think you're fat? Because you're not. You could be drinking whole if you wanted to. Oh, I think you're shallow. The male is driven from her home. Meanwhile, the Cilicillophysis are starting to dig the Synod Synod. They're cool. They eat their own young. Cool. The rains are lay ill, and now the real test for survival begins. As vast areas turn into red desert, the Placeria but are driven to migrate in search of root beer. But in this extreme drought, Dinosaurs have a crucial advantage over other reptiles. They excrete. When they excrete, they waste very little water. Like anyone can even know that. Without sufficient prey, the dinosaurs swiftly turn on each other. Cannibalism is cool. After nine months of rain, at last, the droughts have arrived. Soon the thirsty scrublands are soaking. Any more, and you'll be out. Inside her burrow, the female Sinus Sinus has laid a fresh clutch of eggs. They eat their own eggs. Lol.